David, this was an incredible storm yesterday. Well, we do know now, Ted, that this was rated a major tornado, an F3 tornado. And what that means is the winds averaged around 175 miles per hour with this tornado, possibly gusting over 200 miles per hour at times. And that's enough to do the kind of damage that we have seen over the last 24 hours here in the Fort Smith area. Now, there are lessons to be learned from this tornado, specifically where and when tornadoes can strike. At 11.15 last night, the clock stopped in downtown Fort Smith, marking the moment a killer tornado hopped across the Arkansas River from Sequoia County in Oklahoma. This disaster shows us that tornadoes can occur at all hours of the day, and they can be particularly dangerous at night, often strengthening and striking with little or no warning. It's been said by some that because I live along the river, I don't have to worry about a tornado hitting my home. But as you can see, Fort Smith, Arkansas is right along the Arkansas River, and it was anything but spared from last night's tornado. In fact, the storm likely passed over the Arkansas River at least twice before striking the downtown district and later Van Buren. And don't think only farmhouses and mobile home parks can take direct hits from these monster storms. The damage done to this downtown area proves even large metropolitan areas are at risk from tornadoes. Entire brick buildings here are demolished or are ready to collapse. And Sam, as you could see, looking around at some of these buildings in downtown, when you're getting kind of the roof and structural damage to these type of buildings, uh, you know that it's a major tornado, a 